The G7 finance ministers had some strong words about China's trade policies. What did they say? Well, this is interesting as well because, again, the, the G7 finance ministers uh, have probably taken the most assertive pr approach towards addressing what they claim to be overcapacity and some subsidies by the Chinese and distorting global trade, uh, a, a, you know, an existential threat to uh, exporting nations like uh, Germany, which has a strong, of course, industrial base. Uh, so essentially the G7 providing a unified voice uh, to counter some of their concerns they have over China's trade policies. Uh, and uh, again, this was supposed to be a meeting that really focused heavily, and it did, on basically engineering a way to fi fund uh, the defense of the Ukraine, uh, perhaps using the investment returns off seized money uh, from Russia. Uh, and that is, they have moved the ball forward on that, and perhaps there could be a communique that comes out of that, a resolution, a unified voice from the G7 at the leaders' meeting later this uh, year actually in July in southern Italy. But for this time on the, on the shores of that lake in Italy, they talked uh, very squarely about the threat that is coming from China and the potential dumping in various advanced economies uh, around the world because of their overcapacity.